So floaters are slowly becoming an essential shot in today's game, especially if you guys are under six foot two, you guys are gonna need this. So in today's video, I wanna give you guys three great drills you guys can use to enhance and unlock an elite level floater. So with that said, let's get right into it. So the first one is we need to start to dial in our technique. Most people that I see when I try to work on their floaters, right, they try to shoot their floaters and what they do is they just shoot it like a jump shot, right? But what we see high level players who can shoot the floater at an elite level is they're all shooting with that flat hand. So they're releasing the ball, they're not following through, their palm is kind of just still facing the ceiling. So we need to have that technique down pat before we even start to rep it out. So I'll give you guys a couple progressions you guys can use, start to get that technique down, and then we'll move on to those other drills. So the first progression, guy behind the camera actually came up with, so shout out to him, is we're actually gonna be shooting off our knuckles. The reason we're gonna be doing this is because you can't really follow through off it, so it's gonna help you just keep that wrist locked and extend your shoulder. So we're here, and you're literally just shooting at the backboard, just to again, get that technique down. We're not worried about makes or repping it out yet. We're just trying to get the technique. So you guys can do this. Maybe you move around a little bit. Once you really got it, okay, now we're just going full hand on the ball and then same thing. We're just trying to keep that palm facing the backboard. We're not trying to have it facing the ground. So we should not be falling through. That wrist is staying locked. Getting used to doing that you can speed it up. And then once you really got the technique down at the backboard, so then we're slowly just progressing to shoot at the rim. So maybe I'm just here, just one dribble, boom. Not really worried about the make still. Again, we're completely focused on the technique. Once you got that down, now we can get to these other drills, help you in game situations. So point number two is we need to be able to get our floater off with our dominant hand when we're driving with our non-dominant hand. So if I'm a righty, 90% of the time, I wanna be shooting with my dominant hand. Yes, there'll be situations where I need to use my non-dominant hand, but even then, in those situations, should we really be shooting the floater? Is that a good shot? Probably not. So the couple footwork patterns that we need is the first one, which is the bump. So if someone's on our hip, we still wanna get it off. We're bumping, stepping into them, and then maybe we're stepping away or we're fading away to create that space to get our floater off. So that's the first one that we wanna rep out, right? Drive, boom, bump create space, get the floater off. Second one we wanna rub out is our footwork. So that's just gonna be our typical left foot, right hand, but then also our right, left, and fade to that floater. So we'll show you guys a couple clips, show you what it looks like so you guys can work on this. If you're a lefty, it's just the complete opposite. Right foot, left hand, left, right on that fade with a two foot. So third drill we're gonna to use to work on our touch as well as our arc. So we're actually gonna use the backboard for this one. We're literally just driving baseline and then trying to shoot over the backboard. So it's forcing us to get a lot more arc on that shot, which is primarily what we're working on. I'm not gonna shoot this shot in games. So it's not game like but it can train game-like qualities. So if you guys don't have the ability to do what we just did, even if you do, you guys can progress to this one where we're going freestyles into our floaters and we wanna get it above the backboard, literally as high as we can, and we're aiming for all swishes. Hey. 